18 minutes to 9 o'clock. Well, all too often we hear about attacks on children, but without scaring your kids, how do you teach them to stick up for themselves? Well, John Gill is a black belt in Taekwondo and he's been teaching self-defence in school. Some of his students, Luke and Natasha, are here and Radar's going to play the attacker. Thank you all very much for coming in and demonstrating. John, tell us why it's so important to teach kids self-defence and also from what age? Oh, Mill, about six years of age. It is important for, you know, these child abduction techniques situations lately as well, uh, just for safety and awareness and for their confidence, mm -hmm. just for their basic confidence and self-esteem. Hoping never used it, of course, mm. yeah. but it's nice to know it's there. Just some basic, goes along with road safety, swimming, learning a survival, basic instincts. Because a lot of parents would say, hey, when you're in the, um, a dodgy situation, just run, get out of there as quickly sure. as possible. Is that the first thing you should do? Or Definitely. You... Right. We actually teach non-violent techniques, preferably get away from the situation and run. But if someone's got you know, a strong hold or grab, then you might have to use a striking technique to actually release to get vulnerable the area and then run away. Right. Do you ever worry about kids in a panic situation forgetting techniques or forgetting this, the skills they've learned? Well, that's the idea of training regularly. We do the seminars and the regular classes and we also put out a DVD video so people can practice at home. So if you, if you drill, it's like any sport, if you drill it over and over again, it becomes automatic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but what about the other side of it that says, hey, you're teaching them some pretty strong moves. Mm. Um, you want them to use it when they're attacked, but you don't want them to use it on other kids. Is that an issue that you're drumming to them? Definitely, there's a very strong philosophy in martial arts, how not to fight, how not, not to use it unless you really have to. And the philosophy is very strong. Actually, we have a philosophy of you know, showing respect to people, being kind, courteous. There's a whole res respect aspect in it and discipline aspect in martial mm -hmm. arts. Because so. I'd worry about when my kids rumble that, you know, yeah. <laughs> one of them might have a skill that he could use on the <laughs> other one. Now, tell us some, run us through some, uh, some techniques and things that you've... Wh I mean, how do you begin when you start to teach young people? Sure, we just start with uh, some basic kicking and punching techniques and release techniques which we can demonstrate now. Okay, okay. Yeah, go for it. So, Ray does an attack. Right, radar, radar's attacking Luke here, front on. Explain no. what's happening. This is the basic release without actually striking, so it's a non-aggressive technique. Right. Now, if it's a serious situation, show what happens in a serious situation, striking. No! Right. Double arm grab now, so non-aggressive, so trying to do that so first. So, how to right. jolt it away. Yeah, right. twisting with a high elbow action. So, sorry, what did you actually do? You twisted your arm, so the thinner bit of your wrist. Ah, oh. OK. So that gets their hand around, mm. and so they can't hold on as much. Using leverage and okay. weight transfer. Right. Notice he's in a, do it again, Luke. Notice he's in a running position, so he goes to run immediately to run away. So right. it's in that action from there yep. straight he's in. Yeah, out right. and off. OK, now, now what, what are you doing with this one now? A more aggressive one. This is for a really serious situation, no, striking, no, no, no. where they can't right. release. Right. Actually trying to grab forward, so I use yep. the momentum and just come straight in. OK. There. Now, what about okay. for girls yeah. as well? Yeah. Very important for women and children, just some basic techniques. From here, mouth gag. Ah! It's a common way of women being attacked from the back. OK, the so, so what were you doing? What were the... Yeah, she doing? She's just so quickly, she's that good. Yeah. <laughs> right. She pulled and strike from there. So right. she pulled the thumb, stepped to the side, opened up the vulnerable areas like groin and throat, and then she ran. Of course, right. again, emphasising only for a super serious situation. Right. Like your life's in danger. OK, all right. Because the now, hard thing is too, I mean, I would imagine in most situations, particularly for a child, the attack is going to be a lot bigger and a lot stronger. That's right. You know, physically in height and build mm. and everything. Mm. That's why technique will beat strength. So we teach them a the correct technique. OK. Right. Actually right. using leverage and strike into the vulnerable areas, like eyes, nose, throat, groin and knees. Again, emphasising only for the serious situation. Yep. Okay. So we'll try that again through a forearm choke from here. Right. She pulls down, steps aside and no! strikes. And a lot of it's using your weight as well, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, weight transfer. To catch them off guard. That's right, using okay. weight, twisting. Alright. So it's, it's actually quite easy. easy to learn. And I've taught people from 6 to 90 and it does work. We don't have to be Jackie Chan or anything. It's yep. very simple, yep. straight. People think of you have to be, makes it look more difficult. No, yep. it's not. Mm. It's very easy well, to learn. Well, in this day and age, it's certainly something every parent is aware of. Thanks for yep. coming in and showing Thank us. And thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. That You're was great. terrific. Well done. <laughs> Thanks very much. And um, as John mentioned, he's made a self-defence DVD and you can learn his techniques at home. You can find all the details on our website, 7.com.au slash sunrise.